It's an honor to join you in congratulating our 2020 homecoming court members. As a first year Buckeye, every tradition is new and exciting to me. I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to celebrate with all of you. Students like you are outstanding examples of the excellence Ohio State is known for, extending from Lima to Mansfield and Marion to Newark and from Worcester to Columbus, making our big Buckeye family complete. Students from our regional campuses represent Ohio State's land grant mission in action, which commits us to all corners of our great state and every one of our 88 counties. Regional campuses are one way we expand access to quality Ohio State education. On all of our campuses, through education and research, the work of our university is to elevate the quality of life for the citizens of Ohio. There is no denying that this has been more difficult in 2020. I could not be more proud of how all of our dedicated students have shown such strength and resilience in confronting these challenges. I'm honored to commend each and every one of you for your leadership and service to Ohio State. I know that you will continue to show compassion and integrity as you take on the next steps on your journeys. To our entire 2020 homecoming court, thank you for living up to our university motto of education for citizenship every day and for remaining dedicated to our highest ideals. We value all you do for our campuses and the many communities we serve near and far. Please accept my sincere congratulations on this wonderful achievement. Thank you all and go Buckeyes. I want to first of all thank our homecoming committee, which was uh, Corey Ayers, Kathleen Clemens, Keller, Karen Luthold, Louis Dominga, Ashley Marsh, Macy Winklefuss, Leslie Beery, and Christian Peregrina. I also want to thank the court for their understanding. We certainly weren't able this year to be engaged in all of the normal activities, and so I appreciate very much the fact that you were such good sports about how this year turned out. But each of you is a leader in your own way, and each of you is a leader on campus. And so regardless of how we do this program this year, those facts remain. And I'm very appreciative of your role on the campus and very appreciative of the things you do as individuals to move yourself forward and also to put you in a position where you qualify to be considered as members of the 2020 Marion Campus Homecoming Court. So the next step for me is to introduce our homecoming court. And so uh, you see them there, and we'll start individually with the candidates for Queen. First, we have Amber Alexander. She is a senior majoring in English and uh, creative writing and professional writing and history, a lot of things. And she is from Springfield. Our second candidate is Kate Jackson. She is a sophomore majoring in public management, leadership, and policy, and her hometown is Genoa. Our third candidate for Queen is Bailey Sanders. Her hometown is Bryan, and she's a senior early education major. Our three candidates for King are Dylan Brown. His hometown is Marion. His major is biochemistry, evolution, ecology, and organismal biology and he's a sophomore. Our next candidate is Rhett Hobbs. His hometown is Marysville. He's a ma his major is marketing, and he's a sophomore. And our third candidate is Ben Macklin, also a sophomore, majoring in zoology, and he's from Ostrander. So at this point, then, we begin to identify who the king and the queen are. And it's always one of those situations where I want to make sure that all of our candidates realize that they are all kings and queens to one degree or another. And I've got the official envelope here, as you can see. So I need to tear this open. And inside should be the official results. Oh, and they are indeed in here. That's convenient. So the 2020 Marion Campus Homecoming King is Ben Macklin. Congratulations, Ben. And the 2020 Homecoming Queen for Marion is Amber Alexander. Congratulations, Amber. 
Again, congratulations to all of you. Thank you for what you do for the campus and what you do for the university as a whole. Many of you are engaged in your communities and we appreciate that as well. So thank you very much and congratulations all around.